after all this is, is uh, said and done, there are going to be people that will have either the responsibility towards themselves to either build, rebuild, or um, understand the, um, the consequences. Well, I, I wouldn't say consequences. I think it's, again, we're back to responsibility because I was watching, um, I was going on the internet this morning and Google alert uh, environmental slash green and now NBC wants to dedicate 150 hours, which is quite a bit, to the green movement. They mm. want to show this, they mm. want to show that. And they even want to do, excuse me, they even want to do something about what we do, mm. how to create a, a green environment and living healthy, uh, homes. healthy homes. Yeah. Right. And I was excited. Yeah. It put a smile on my face. Yeah. Oh, finally, you know, after 18 years, we're in the right place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After 18 years. Yeah. So I'm, I'm encouraging those folks out there that have the wherewithal to open up a business and deal with uh, green products, green construction. Uh, and what I mean by green is um, consider the non-toxic value of your business uh, and the uh, consumer out there. It's unfortunate what we have going now, but there's going to be quite a few homes that probably the folks are going to embrace it more so than, than, uh, than the average home, which we all know now more so than ever, uh, that there can be toxic materials put in, whether it's paints or carpets or insulation. So um, keep that in the back of your mind. I know right now that the, the most important thing is to get, get past this, and we're still going through it. So those of you that are not watching and maybe watching in the next uh, 30 days, um, do consider the options because there are options out there. I, you know, you'll appreciate it down the road and so will your children. Well, you know, that's a very good point about all these homes that were burnt in, in these fires are going to have to be rebuilt. Right. And if they're rebuilt in a manner that they can burn again, I mean, you know, with the shake roofs and, and not, uh, not, not having the appropriate borders between the house and what could be a combustible material, mm -hmm. uh, then this will happen again. I don't think it'll happen anytime soon because once all these, the, the fuel, because it takes a certain amount of oh, time. Oh, the, the fuel can come back in a couple years. No, this That's true. If we have some rains, it, we are semi-desert. Yeah. It would need yeah. rains because how it, the, the seed basically gets to one place or another is through fires. <laughs> well, yeah, it's going to happen again. Yeah. But if they rebuild these homes, and, and we'd prefer them to be built in a green manner, mm -hmm. in a healthy manner, but also incorporating the, the method, methods that we've found uh, prevent them from getting burned in the future because there's homes in Malibu that survived this fire right. because they had the tile roof, they had the eaves that were closed that don't let the embers come up into them, they had the, a buffer zone uh, of, of grass or rock between them and all, and all the, the uh, weeds and, and natural growth that is, is, is hopefully going to remain. Right. So they need to rebuild these homes so they're not going to be burned again. That's how we're going to learn from the past to go forward in the future. Yeah.